In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Mac version of Amasuite software on your Mac computer. Now, as I did with the Windows install video, I'm just going to install one of the software programs here in this video because it applies to all four of them. So it's all very similar. So after you log into the members area, just go ahead to the very top and go to Azon Keyword Generator. Of course, if you want to download the others, go to the other sections there. And so let's do this example by downloading this software, the Keyword Generator. So what you want to do is download the Mac version right over here. So go ahead and click download here. And then I'll save the .zip file onto my desktop. The DMG file, which is the install image disk file, is inside of a compressed zip file. So I'm going to go ahead and click save the file. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to save it to my desktop here. And click save. And let's go find it. There it is. And then to extract the contents, just double click it. And it should do that. So I'll get rid of the zip file there. I'll just move it to the trash. And then here, we double click this. This file here is just a disk image file. And then we go ahead and we drag the Azon Keyword Generator icon over to the Applications folder like that. And now it is installed on our computer. So let's go ahead and just close this down. And we can see here that the disk has been mounted there. So we can right click and eject the disk if you'd like. And then you can save that somewhere on your computer. I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and just remove it. Now we go to Applications and we should find our Azon Keyword Generator icon here. So go ahead and click that. And you'll most likely see this. Um, I think this is introduced in later versions of the Mac OS. I'm not entirely sure, but anyhow, if you encounter this little error thing, it's not error, but a little warning that says uh, it doesn't want to install it or open it up because it doesn't recognize the developer. Now, you don't have to worry about my software like harming your computer or anything like that. All it does, it's, it's basically a glorified web browser, if you think about it. It gathers information from Amazon. It shows you that data within the software. And the only other thing my software does is check our servers, whether or not you've actually purchased the product. And that's pretty much it. So what we want to do is I want to show you next how to basically get rid of this warning because you may want to install other software that's not ours onto your Mac and this is not allowing you to. So it's really easy to do. So let's go ahead and just click OK. And then in the light, sorry, and then in the top left hand corner of your Mac, you got the little apple there. Just click on System Preferences. And then inside of System Preferences, go ahead and click on Security and Privacy. Click on the General tab. And you'll see here, this is what you want to do. You want to be selecting anywhere, allow apps downloaded from anywhere. And to do that, you have to click the little lock button to unlock it, and it'll ask you to enter in your password. So enter in your computer password there. And then click on Anywhere, and click Allow from Anywhere, this little pop-up there, and then go ahead and re-lock everything. And then close her down. Now we should be able to install the software, or sorry, open up the software. Go on Applications, Keyword Generator, there's the icon again. Click that. You get another little warning there saying it's application down from the internet. Go ahead and click on Open. And the first time you open up the software, you'll see this little red kind of pop up thing. You have to enter in the email that you use to order the software. Now, when you ordered the software, you were, you were sent to a page that looks similar like this. So it's a JV order page. And you had to enter in your email here and here. This is your PayPal email, and this is your delivery email. The email that you need to enter into that box into the software here is the email that you entered in step one. Now, if for some strange reason it doesn't work, then try the email that you entered into the PayPal email. So anyhow, it's one of these email addresses, whatever you stuck in there when you first ordered the product, that is the email address you need to enter into here. So, and if you enter something incorrect, you will see a warning come up saying, sorry, that's not in our database. Um, and if that happens, if you want to get help, make sure you contact us at amasuite at gmail.com. And one of our support staff will make sure that you get into your software after you purchase. So, And of course, if you didn't purchase, you're going to have to go and grab a copy of the software in order to get activated. So anyhow, once you've got your email, just go ahead. I'll just stick in mine in here and click register. 
and it should be all good to go. And let's give it a quick test. Let's take, stick in the word iPad and just make sure everything works here. And it's working super fast and really well. All right, that's it for this video. And as with the Windows software, you're allowed to only install um, three copies of this software on different Macintosh computers. And if you need to increase that number for any any reason, just go ahead and contact us at amasuite at gmail.com and we'll definitely take care of it for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.